Welcome. Welcome to Empowered Woman and Let's Talk Success. I'm Desiree Dubois, founder of An Empowered Woman, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Rupa Dash. Good afternoon, Rupa. How are you feeling today? Hi, Desiree. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. You feel empowered? Oh, absolutely. Every day. <laughs> Well, Rupa, you are the founder of Dash Global Network, and you have a new project coming up. Tell us about that. Well, my new project is, is pretty interesting. It's World Women Fund. The mission is to identify, invest, and bring, um, you know, extraordinary women around the world together and unleash their leadership in every role so and, and, and it's it's just to uh, you know accelerate more socio-economic growth of women around the world and celebrate everyday women heroes in our lives that's some wonderful so how many women and what areas around the world are you including do you know well, we have. It's a pretty interesting market. We, um, I have, I have precisely. I have traveled almost uh, uh, most part part of uh, Asia, Asia Pacific. So um, we are working uh, with countries like India, since I'm from India, and South Africa, and Pakistan. So there are pretty pretty interesting markets we are we are working with. So. So this is this is what is the uh, next big project is all about, and uh, we uh, we are planning to empower about one million uh, women and girl children by 2000, uh, 2020, and also you know increase the socio economic growth of women um, of two million uh, women and girl children. Fantastic! That's really really big dreams. So you've been very successful in your business. What have you contributed to your success? Um, well, my journey is pretty uh, interesting because, um, well, I'm the first girl in my family to work. Wow. So, uh, so, um, so I mean, when I was out out there to work, I thought it was more of a, more of being rational and having the right merits to be uh, to be um, to be part of to, to be part of the business and as it go higher and higher. So it has been a quite a bit of self discovery process, and I learned um, that to be uh, more empowered by inside and outside. That's what that's what keeps you in the game. You know, so uh, it's it's a pretty self-learning process. There is no well, perfect recipe for a for a woman entrepreneur to be successful, but you have to work in and out and stay empowered. Yes. Very good. And then, so you've also been around, and you've seen a lot of women achieve great success. Has there something that you've seen them do more of or do less of that you've actually taken from their their um, knowledge and their lessons and implemented in your life? Yes, I think uh, women tend to uh, forget that they have to celebrate womanhood every day. So that's that's something uh, I have learned from many successful women. You know, celebrating being a woman and and of course planning your socio-economic growth and creating a sustainable value system to um, to uh, have the essential elements. To have a balanced life, that's what I have learned most essentially from most successful women. You're very, you're right about that. Um, you know, one of the things I admire is that, and I'm so passionate about, is that you are have the same mission as we do as far as empowering women and all different le yes. levels. And we're really concerned about the programming that's available today on television. That's why we're doing these shows, Let's Talk Success, because mm -hmm. we want to model yes. women and show women who have achieved the millionaire status. Going to go into their homes and their offices as they share their stories, their challenges, their victories, yes. and their to success. So that we can mm -hmm. offer more education, motivation, mm -hmm. and a sense of community. Yes. They know they have community. 
um, because right now there's not enough models, especially for the people coming from other countries, you know, people that are coming from India and other areas like yourself. What they see on TV does not really represent a lot of their very incredible, yes. successful women in America. How do you feel about that? Well, I think uh, television, entertainment media is such a powerful uh, platform and that itself has so much of impact over the, I mean, on everybody. Uh, so it can be used in, in much more um, uh, powerful over the vision of women, their struggles, talk about their struggles, and also celebrating everyday heroes in our lives. So, uh, which, which I think uh, would be uh, the best thing to do, not just, um, it, it's our mothers, our sisters, it's ourselves. We have been doing so much. We are everyday heroes. There is such a big hero uh, in us. So that's what I think the, the media and television should do more. Great. Well, we're going to do the best that we can to do that. And with your, yeah. help, your help sharing it and being exposed to our magazine to your community, mm -hmm. that will be a really great help. So what would you like okay. to leave? What empowering thoughts I could leave our listeners with today? Well, I, yeah, I think it all starts with a leader. I mean, and a woman leader makes all the difference in the world. So I think invest in local women leaders in our society and identifying local leaders and, and also those leaders bringing in more leaders and making a community of women leaders can have a big impact in our society to talk about the challenges to bringing the big change. And make and, and as we all know, it's teamwork makes dream work. So, so I think uh, I will live with a note of make uh, identifying more uh, women leaders in our society would be of great importance. Well, thank you, and we're going to do just that in 2015. So, thank you very much. I want to thank our viewers for watching thank us today, you. and I look forward to meeting you soon. And until then, stay empowered. Thank you.